So I like to start with the, uh, the thread protectors. Uh, all we're gonna do is put the O-ring on that. I use this little funnel to make it a little easier for us. And then I use some DC-111 grease. Just helps it go on the mating part a little better. Next, I'd like to install the components of the seal retainer. I'm gonna start with some Molly Coat 111 on the packing seal. I just kind of coat that over it. And then the O-ring that's packed inside this seal faces outward. So when this is assembled on this part here, the O-ring will be facing away from the pins that are located in here. Next, we want to install the guide band so that it's flush. And then we're going to use some more molly coat on the shaft. This will help the packing seal slide over it and it will also hold the pins in place. What you want is a flush surface on top of this, which will hold this seal in place and won't allow it to flip over. So you're gonna to want to just place that on top there. Just a nice easy push down. And then I use an additional one of these to place on top to continue pushing this down. This holds that packing seal in place during the installation. You can see where the seal starts to come towards the end here. You'll need one more of the rings. You'll feel just a little bit of resistance here and then that'll slide over. At this time, you can remove all of the... And note how your peak is still flush and there's no parts of your seal sticking out. Next, we're gonna install the pin retainer housing. We're placing some copper coat on the threads making sure to hit the shoulder up here. And hand tighten. All torque values will be set later. Next, we wanna install the pins. We're going to assemble the anti-rotation sub onto the retainer housing. And we want to copper coat these joints also. Once again, just hand tighten. And then once more copper coat on these three. At this point, we'll assemble these components into the top of the housing. A little bit of molly coat, just for the simple fact that this will hold this part in place. We won't allow it to fall out during assembly. Push that all the way down until it seats. Once again, the O-ring has been removed on this part, only this one, and the slot is going to face out. Once again, like I said earlier, we're going to isolate the pins inside here. So on this one, the O-ring slot is pointing down. On this one, the O-ring slot is pointing up. Push that into place. Next, the backup ring.
just put, apply a little bit of molly coat here. Once again, the only reason is just to hold this in place during assembly. Place the anti-rotation into the friction vise. We want a little bit of copper coat on the end of the inner member shaft, making sure to hit down onto this shoulder. After we've applied the copper coat to the end of the inner member shaft and shoulder, we want to place blue Loctite on the threads. Then install into the end of the anti rotation. Sometimes a little bit of wiggling to get those threads to go around the seal is required. And then tighten it up. And then this is 100 foot pounds. Next, we're going to install the elastomer stacks onto the inner member shaft. First, the rebound stack goes on, and then we want blue Loctite on these threads. And installation of the drive washer. And all we're gonna do here is just snug this up, just a real light pull. And you wanna note, that this end here is flush with the recess. Next, we want our compression stacks installed and the installation of the TSP using red Loctite on the threads. And there is no torque spec, just a good twist on this. All right, we're gonna install the seal kit onto the end of the TSP. And to make that easier, we use this funnel. So we install both seals. And then we're gonna bring it on. The funnel fits over the end of the TSP. You want to gently push off one and the second one. Then these seal retainers fit right around on both sides of the seal. Try not to pull on these straight out. You want to twist them so that they go back into place. And apply some molly coat on the end of this. And once again, this helps all the seals stay in place and it helps with the installation of the sealing subbody. Okay, at this point, we want to apply some copper coat on the outer housing, the threads on the inside. <laughs> now we're installing the anti-rotation end and inner member shaft. Note that this can be threaded into both ends of the outer housing, but you can see the thread length here corresponds with the thread length on the inside of the outer housing. Uh, at this point, I'm going to wipe this down uh, as we're going to tighten each section. I always start with the seal retainer. This is torqued to uh, 350 foot pounds. And I work my way down into each section. And then what you want to do is release the tension on each section. Now 
making and uh, breaking these joints allow the threads to relax and allow the proper torque value to be applied. So you wanna do this three times. So now we're gonna tighten them again. So this is second tightening. All right, now we're gonna go on the third time. All right, all three of those are torqued to spec. Now for installation of the ceiling sub assembly. Once again, we're gonna use our funnel to install the two O-rings. And some molly coat on these. And some copper coat on the threaded end. Once again, making sure to work your way all the way down onto this shoulder here. During assembly of this, sometimes just a little bit, I'll exaggerate this, a little bit of motion like this will work it over the T-seal a little bit. And we're gonna use this wrench just to get it tightened up. Once that's snugged up, we'll change wrenches and use the torque wrench. And we're gonna torque this to 350 foot-pounds. Once again, on a brand new threaded joint, I want to make and break this three times. So this is torquing the second time. and torquing for our third and final time. So at this point, we're just gonna install the thread protectors. And one on the other end. And we'll take a final measurement overall length. I always just break this joint just to here so I can get my rent or uh, my tape measure. And the overall length as you can see to this end is 39 and three quarters inches.